A family's pit bull mauls a 13-month-old boy inside their Granite Bay home. The attack being called unprovoked tonight. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Adrian Moore. CBS 13's Rob Malcolm is live in Granite Bay tonight with the gut-wrenching details. This is a tough one, Rob. Yeah, that's right. Tony and Adrian, this is just a heartbreaking story. Now, the home in question is just a few uh, houses down here on Olive Ranch Road. Now, neighbors we tried to talk with tonight said this family has gone through enough. And what took place here this afternoon is a parent's worst nightmare. It was an accident so horrific few people in this Granite Bay neighborhood would talk, but those that did... It's scary that it can happen so close to my house. Gavin Smith lives two houses down on Olive Branch Road, where shortly after three, Placer County Sheriff's deputies responded after a pit bull fatally attacked a 13-month-old boy. Our deputies responded to the scene. The, the relative that was watching the child was able to get the child away from the dog. Neighbors gathered on the street trying to figure out what was going on. My mom saw, or she heard from somebody that there was blood on the lady's face or on the kid's face. It was later in the afternoon they heard the tragic news. The toddler was no match for the six-year-old female pit bull. The baby was taken to the Roosevelt Hospital where it passed away. The pit bull is now quarantined with Placer County Animal Control. Detectives say their preliminary investigation points to an accident. There doesn't appear to be any neglect. There does not appear to be any provo uh, there, anything that provoked the dog. It was just a, it was a horrific circumstance that had occurred. Gavin is the owner of two large pit bulls and is trying to figure out how this happened. Usually it's not really the dog. That's the problem. It's the people who raise the dog. Um, you go and you train a dog to be aggressive, it's going to be aggressive. If you don't be aggressive with the dog, it's going to be fine. Placer County Sheriff's deputies say pet owners should do what they can to avoid tragedies like this. It's always a good idea to keep an eye on your dogs when they're around your small children, whether they're a big dog or a small dog, regardless of breed. So some good, some good advice there. Now that six-year-old female pit bull, as we mentioned, is in the care of Placer County Animal Control. Its fate is unknown at this hour. Meanwhile, a family here trying to pick up the pieces and just regroup after this tragedy. Guys? The details are just horrific. Rob, thanks so much for your live report tonight. So when it comes to fatal dog attacks, pit bulls were involved in 72% of all incidents. 83% of those pit bull attacks happened inside the home. 42% of the victims were children under the age of six.